I first got interested in crypto back in 2017 because I was broke. And no matter how hard I was working, I was still poor. Here's a picture of me working at the sandwich shop back at the time when I had no money. I tried to do the right things and the right steps that you're supposed to do in life, but I felt like I just kept getting met with obstacles. There were certain privileges in life that I just did not have or didn't have access to. And it started to feel sometimes like the system was kind of rigged or just kind of working against me. That feeling is what drew me to decentralized finance. I was like, why should a few people always get to make all the rules about a system that always seems to benefit them? And what if we could do something about that? I had not been interested in a career in tech at all prior to that sort of realization. I think a lot of us got into blockchain because we want to help people. And that was the initial hook for me into this whole phenomenon that would eventually give rise to Web3 and all these other things. Then the pandemic happened. And in kind of a similar way, I never really had any interest in medicine or biology or any of that. In fact, I hated chemistry in high school. It was like my least favorite class. But then living through a global pandemic kind of brought all of that to the forefront of my mind in a new way, just the importance of it all. And ever since then, I've started to develop this fascination with the intersection of blockchain and biotech. And it felt like maybe there was something there, but I couldn't really pinpoint where it was going or if anyone was really doing anything with it. And then AI just sort of catapulted onto the scene in the last year or so. And I think that's when I really started to see this clear convergence of possibilities. Actually, last fall I was in Brooklyn and I walked into a bookstore, as I do in pretty much every city that I visit, and this random book on the bookshelf caught my eye. Hold on. This book right here, Codebreaker, and it's about Jennifer Doudna and the CRISPR program and how some of the RNA discoveries they made were able to help produce the COVID vaccines, but also how it led to the ability to edit human genes and what the future could look like in light of that capability. And it just became very apparent to me upon finishing this read that biotech is the future. There were actually some mentions of decentralized science in this book as well. I don't think it used that term, but it did talk about how there are these kinds of scrappy hackers of the science world. I don't know what you'd call them, but that's how I would put it in tech terms, I guess, who are essentially trying to democratize access to some of these discoveries so that the benefits don't end up belonging to the rich. And the similarities of that to Web3 culture really stood out to me. And upon further investigation, there is in fact a whole decentralized science movement happening right now in the blockchain space. I'll put up an image here of a bunch of the existing DSI projects that are out there. And you'll notice there actually is a CRISPR DAO on there, which I thought was quite a uh, full circle. But you can see there's really quite a lot going on. Neurotech, life extension, biosecurity, and using crypto to help fund this research much more quickly than through traditional processes. And to make some of this research more transparent and more accessible. It just hits for me right at the core of what I love about being part of this community. I think some of these things are really important, perhaps even some of the most important issues and problems we could be tackling as a society. I mean, it doesn't get much higher priority than literal health and life, but I never thought that in my life I would ever have the opportunity to help push science forward in those areas because I'm just over here writing code. I don't even have a college degree. But now there are suddenly all these ways that my skills as a blockchain developer might actually be useful to scientists, which is just really amazing to me. Although I should give myself some credit here. I have always believed that blockchain technology is going to be world changing and I've staked my career on that. 
But I think for me, it's just a really exciting time to see some of these things coming together. So I wanted to make a video and just shout into the void um, for you all to maybe take a look at what's going on in DSI. I'm gonna leave some links in the description if you wanna just take a gander uh, because it's pretty interesting and there are people who are working really hard on this stuff. I'm definitely looking to get more involved in this work, so I'll keep you all updated for sure. I also recently feel like I have a lot of philosophical thoughts, if you will, um, on the future of blockchain and Web3 and tech, and I'm planning to just start dumping some little videos of my thoughts. I'm gonna try and keep them pretty short, like this one, because who wants to listen to like a 15 minute video of me just talking? <laughs> but at the same time, I have these ideas and these opinions, and I just wanna put them somewhere. And hopefully it educates someone or inspires someone who wants to be a builder or facilitates more collaboration, or at the very least, you know, raises more awareness to some of these things. Because to me, an important piece of decentralization is accessible information and education. If we don't make a concerted effort towards community involvement, we're doomed to effectively repeat the same mistakes in the systems we have now because nobody knows what's going on. So that's all for now, my fellow internet friends, and I will see you very soon in another video.